Pitting potatoes against property. That's how the government's proposal to protect highly productive farmland from being subdivided or used for urban expansion has been described. The Environment and Agricultural Ministers have this afternoon in Pukekohe released a document for public consultation. It would give councils a clear policy for land use decisions. Over the last decade, more than 200 produce growers in Auckland alone have shut up shop as more rural land has been rezoned to residential to keep up with the demand for housing. Environment Minister David Parker spoke to me just before we came to air and I asked him whether this was now a case of spuds versus housing as local government New Zealand has suggested. Oh, we're actually preferring potatoes, there's no doubt about that. I mean in parts of uh, New Zealand we're, we're really uh, losing too many of our productive soils to subdivision. Uh, lifestyle blocks that stop, you know, um, orchards, uh, subdivisions that eat into the soils around Pukekohe and we've got to get that balance better. Can you put a figure on it? Over the past few years, how much of that land have we lost to housing development? Uh, over recent decades, tens of thousands of hectares. Uh, to put the, that into context, you know, I, I cut the grass last weekend when I was in Auckland. This coming weekend I'm in Dunedin, I don't have to cut the grass because it doesn't grow in winter. Every uh, day, truckloads of uh, broccoli and other winter greens leave from the Auckland region, not just to feed Auckland, but also to feed the South Island. And if we lose these soils, uh, the price of vegetables will grow, go up uh, and we'll be a less healthy country. So what are you proposing to prote- protect this productive land? What restrictions are under consideration? Well, what the national policy statement does is require councils to pay greater attention to the importance of protection, protecting these highly productive soils. So it makes it easier for them to turn down a subdivision application which turns horticultural soils uh, into residential subdivisions. So they can only build or only rubber stamp building on this type of land if, for example, there is a housing shortage which justifies it, correct? Well, even with a housing shortage, you can still choose to put your Uh, houses in areas that are the lower quality soils. Uh, There's lots of land around uh, Auckland that is suitable for subdivision that isn't these highly productive soils. Is it near Uh, transport hubs though, Minister? Is it in places where people want to live? You know, you've got Phil Twyford who's wanting to build around transport hubs. Do these two, two needs marry up basically? Well, I've worked with Phil Twyford and Damien O'Connor on this so that we reconcile these two objectives. And yes, I mean, the new transport hubs that are formed outside of the existing Auckland area should be put in places that aren't the highest product of soils. In respect of areas that are within the Auckland region currently, uh, this doesn't have any effect anyway because those areas are already uh, in housing. It's just a question of how intensive the housing is. Because Dave Cull, President of Local Government New Zealand, he says that some cities, well, they don't have any choice, no other option but expanding housing areas in, into green areas because they're living in, they're in cities where housing is utterly unaffordable and they need to, well, produce more houses. Auckland, Hamilton, for example? Well, it's true you have to get the balance right, but you don't get the balance right by putting the houses on the, our most productive soil and putting out the price of broccoli. What percentage of land are you talking about that we're looking to ring fence, in essence? Well, that's up to councils. They'll uh, identify the the most highly productive soils and protect them from inappropriate subdivision. Councils want this. Uh, You know, they they at the moment face a lot of pressure from someone to maximise, you know, the, the speculator might buy the land in order to cut it up to turn it into housing rather than vegetables, and that's just not in New Zealand's interest. Otherwise, generations to come won't have the soils that they need to affordably grow vegetables. Put simply, what is the definition of highly productive land? What do you see as being this this um, land that's in contention? Uh, there are various classes of soil that are scientific classes. The highest of those grades of soil are mapped throughout New Zealand. We've already got very good data on this, and it's those highest classes of land that will be better protected. This does not put at risk our ambition to to build more houses. Uh, uh, We're in the process of also putting out a national policy statement on intensification of urban areas and uh, enabling appropriate development outside of those urban boundaries. 
But in order to do that responsibly, you also have to get ahead and protect your elite soils. While you're trying to protect the price of broccoli in essence and the production of food, could you be driving up the price of houses by forcing uh, developments into other areas? No, I don't believe so because uh, there's lots of land in New Zealand. You know, we're a country of four and a half million people in the land area of the whole of the United Kingdom. We've got plenty of land. We can do both of these things. The problem is at the moment we're not taking enough care of our elite soils and we're compromising that unnecessarily. Yes, we do have a lot of land, but we come a full circle, don't we, Minister? Because is the land that you're suggesting that be built on instead of productive land, is it where people want to live? Uh, Around Auckland, there's plenty of land for people to live on. There's lots of soils that are not these highly productive soils. Uh, What we're doing is getting the balance right by protecting these highly productive soils whilst also enabling uh, subdivision and more housing in other areas. And that's the Environment Minister, David Parker, there.